Live, this is 24 Hour News 8. She worked for the Kentwood Parks and Rec Department for 15 years, but tonight detectives say that she stole more than $300,000 from that department. 24 Hour News 8's Ken Kolker broke this story for us tonight at 5. He's live in Door now, not far from where the clerk lives, and is asking why it took more than a decade to realize that that cash was missing. Ken? Yeah, actually, Brian, city officials say it's more than $300,000 dating back about eight years, and they say this has led them to make some changes. I'm very disappointed. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of angry about it um, because um, once this was uncovered, it was over, this is over a period of time, you know, a 15 year employee, a trusted employee. Debbie Salmon is charged with embezzling more than $100,000. The actual amount on court documents, nearly 140,000 over three years. But the mayor said an audit found it went back to at least 2005 and totaled at least 300,000. A court document obtained by 24 Hour News 8 shows the city's finance department noticed that large amounts of money from the rec department were being credited to somebody's credit cards. They quickly ruled out an online hacker, then soon discovered that the cards belonged to Salmon. Police say she at first denied any involvement, but later admitted to taking about 7,000. Back to 2005, you would wonder why that might not have been um, detected, but um, we've um, put in some systems. And in fact, he says an audit in 2008 or 2009 suggested changes, including more than one person handling the cash. Instead, she was allowed to take in the cash, take it to the bank, and keep the books. It was it a little bit too loose, the, the handling of money there? Well, I, I don't want to say a little bit too loose be, because um, from the way it was explained, explained to me, it was working off a, a couple of sets of books. So uh, it was a little bit undetectable. This has already led to changes. We've um, looked at every department that handled cash. Um, we're putting in place a, a cash program where everything goes to the treasurer's office. And nobody can handle cash on their own. A separation of duties is what we're talking about. How do you handle cash? Making sure that all cash, and not just Parks and Rec. I'm looking, I've looked at every department in City Hall. So we are going to make sure that that, that that temptation doesn't be there for folks to handle. We tried to reach Salmon, but nobody answered our knock on her door. Cola said he has already fired her, and in, if she is convicted, she could face up to 20 years in prison. Live near door, Ken Colker, 24-hour news 8.